we're going to talk about this. This is pretty good news and pretty interesting news. And I think will be something that a lot of people will try and kind of dismiss and poo poo. But I think sometime along the line, we may see a shift in general of people jumping on this platform. What am I talking about? It's this news, courtesy of Globe Newswire. Rumble signs exclusive live streaming agreement with DJ Academics. It says here, Rumble, the video sharing platform, announced today that the popular media personality, DJ Academics, will be live streaming exclusively on Rumble three to five days a week. Known for his authentic voice, DJ Academics is a powerful culture and entertainment influencer with 5.2 million Instagram followers and 2.76 YouTube subscribers. The Jamaican-American podcaster will cover the latest news in hip-hop music along with a satirical take on top headlines. The quote here says, I look forward to being one of the first to bring music and cultural conversations to a platform like Rumble. There have been many bad decisions at larger platforms where they haven't put creators first and they are disconnected from the community. I feel now is an inflection point for streaming platforms i couldn't be more excited to lead this effort on a platform that puts creators first um the quote from the ceo says academics is one of the most influential personalities in hip-hop and a cultural world and rumble chairman ceo chris pavlo pavlovsky says having him on rumble sends a big statement to other platforms about how serious we are in getting into different channels of content from sports to music to culture Tune in at 6 p.m. ET on Tuesday, April 11, which passed yesterday. He just did a stream, I think, with Sneaker and Aiden. And um, Aiden Russ, sorry. Um, you can subscribe to his, his stream here. That's a link. So, and it says, yeah, about Rumble. Rumble is a high-growth, neutral video platform that's creating rails and independent um, infrastructure designed to immune for counterculture. Rumble's mission is to restore the internet to its roots by making it free and open. Once again, for more information, visit corp. wherever it may be. So, good news regardless right on the good side of it i think it's healthy for the video sharing or streaming platforms to have competition i think for twitch and youtube to dominate in all to you know all these things is just not good for business and i think especially when you think about how um these platforms are maybe ideologically bent and how political they are in in terms of how they sway maybe more left it is probably quite um, advantageous and probably a good thing for culture and for probably streamers overall if there does exist a neutral platform where you can quote unquote give it up and say what you want and i think in general the kind of smut that gets placed on these platforms like rumble like kick and they try and say they're right wing for essentially just being a platform where you can say what you want is uh, indicative of where the issue is most of these other popular platforms are too left-leaning so that anything else that comes up that says hey we will actually let you say more things and actually be more free with your content and not kind of come down on you with a band hammer because you don't abide by whatever else we're talking about here in culture of rule that says more about culture and where we kind of are in the moment than it does say about those kind of platforms i also still think it's really good that he decided to go with a platform that are kind of you know trying to um do right by streamers i think for the moment reason maybe because they've got an abundance of flipping people making videos for free but i think platforms like youtube and twitch don't really care about doing right by the creators because they feel like the creators are easily easily replaceable they feel like there's a lot of other people coming up there's probably a younger 12 year old aiden ross right now streaming to two people who can eventually take over his place anyway so they don't necessarily go out of their way to try to accommodate those streamers even though those streamers are a large part of why these places or these platforms are successful so i definitely see why that makes sense and why it's good someone like an academic is joining rumble because clearly those platforms are trying to look after the creators and having them in mind and these things kind of need to exist um the issue i have with it is everybody kind of making it seem like it's a right leaning type of thing as you see here from this article on vibe it says right wing media another article here courtesy of um fader says it's a controversial platform i think that's unfair i think just because you are the alternative voice um on this kind of live streaming space and you do give people the opportunities to kind of say way more to get away with a lot more than they would be able to on a youtube or a twitch doesn't necessarily mean you're right wing and we do need the internet does need a platform that is neutral where people can kind of say what they want because as we've seen with the covid as we've seen with even the Jussie smollett trial with the tory lanes thing if you don't say 
what the current what the kind of collective hive mind msn you know mainstream media type of narrative is you can get booted off there was a moment in time where legitimately if you kind of spoke about covid and said it was a lab leak or whatever it may be or you try to blame wuhan in particular or the flipping you know or these flipping wet markets you get booted off of the platforms that would be legitimate that was kind of sacrilege these are things you could not say so now that things have moved on in culture and moved on in kind of society we have now become a lot more open to those kind of you know narratives or those kind of point of views you're no longer banned for those things anymore so imagine the people that were kicked off these platforms who lost a living off of the back of it now kind of seeing culture shift and people basically change their minds that's really not cool so a platform like rumble to exist that allows people to say what they want is great the only issue i have with these kind of platforms if it's not right leaning is that artistically and creatively they flipping suck look at this flipping cover and this flyer they made for ak joining flipping rumble like that is legitimately one of the most badly designed pieces of artwork i've ever seen in my entire life but like, that is really horrible that's like a fiber job that's something that somebody paid somebody $20 on Fiverr to quickly design and they put it together. That is horrible. They didn't even they didn't even roll him out correctly. They didn't do a they didn't have him go coming into the studio and doing a photo shoot. I think if I'm not mistaken, he said on his um clips that he met up with the CEO of Rumble and um and what you may call it. And and they kind of met up, I think, at a UFC event, a UFC 287. They didn't do a photo shoot. They didn't do any kind of press bits and BTS footage and little interview, whatever it may be. Nothing. They just went on Google, typed in his name and found some two images of where he looks the best, which he doesn't because, you know, he's you know kind of tubby looking and got a round face and can't dress for shit. But the flyer is horrendous. So that's the only issue I have with these quote unquote right leaning platforms. They don't have good creativity, talent when it comes to art and all that malarkey. They're not the greatest. They can probably be able to put together a pretty decent platform and get the infrastructure right, the back end stuff. But when it comes to actually making it look good, it's a bit terrible. So that's the only thing I'm not really fond of it. But I do think overall it's a good thing. I think we will see way more people, especially within the hip hop space, deciding to move over to Rumble because I think a lot of them will be frustrated and annoyed that they didn't get the opportunity to kind of talk freely about certain topics and like i said before the tory lane's megan the stallion case being a good one like if you didn't come out and initially say that you thought megan was shot by tory lane's you'd get cancelled you get bullied off of the platform your accounts may get shut down but i think a platform does need to ex uh, exist where people can kind of pontificate and just talk and just kind of talk how people talk in real life because that's the issue i have in general with these platforms they kind of censor your speech but in general the speech that they're censoring is what people actually talk about irl they speak about these type of things openly they're they're open they're open to having their flipping mind changed or maybe they're open to kind of receiving new bits of information that may alter their pov but for every reason on these platforms if you don't abide by the collective you know mainstream media point of view you could essentially have your entire channel taken down or your livelihood completely demolished and i don't think that's fair in the slightest personally i'm not a fan of you know this anti woke counter culture type of thing people are doing i think if you're willing to be a hot tech mcgee you have to be open to the consequences of what you say but also let me say what i want to say first of all don't limit what i say just because that's what i say you don't like let me say what i have to say first of all that would be the right way to go about it yo big up green ghost media appreciate you brother for the i agree but funny ak wouldn't know the differing no, of course not. A Ak is, that's the thing that's funny too. If you listen to Ak the Academics, he's very smart and knowledgeable when it comes to the music industry. But I think his knowledge kind of like stops there you wouldn't go to DJ Academics and listen to him for political hot takes. That's not his kind of, um, that's not his, um, that's not within his warehouse. It's not his expertise in the slightest. He's really good at talking about culture stuff, including hip hop, including just what's going on in society overall. Maybe some stuff about relationships because he's got this whole hard on Fox thing. He talks about that, rants and raves about, about girls on IG and all this malarkey and fresh and fits topics. Cool. But anything to do with society, anything to do with politics at large, nah don't don't listen to him number one because he's not knowledgeable and also because he's a multi-millionaire i think in general you should maybe not take your political insights and societal flipping you know things from flipping multi-millionaires who can kind of inoculize themselves from the horrors of everyday life essentially they don't you know they're not outside here on the streets with you and i they're in their ivory towers so taking what they say in any way shape or form seriously is really dumb in my opinion but hey what do i know